Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix error opening installation log file in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So whenever you try to uninstall or install any kind of application, software or update, you get this kind of error message. So I will be sharing six to seven effective solutions that you can apply. And I'm very sure that this will be surely giving you the solution. The first thing that I would recommend you that you should check for any kind of integrity violation or infection on your computer. So what you have to do on your Windows 10 or 11 search box, you have to click on it, then type CMD, command prompt will be coming up, right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes, the black window will be coming up here. The first command that you have to type will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this command will take some time because it will be looking for all kind of system file and some kind of integrity violation. So what you can do, you can minimize it and then we can move with the next step. And in the next step, you can try disabling the antivirus of your PC and laptop. So if you're using any kind of third party antivirus, then click on the drop down that is on the very right hand corner of your screen. And if you're using any antivirus like Kaspersky, Norton or any McAfee, Avast, then you have to look for that icon over here, right click on it and choose quit. If you're using the Windows inbuilt security, then you have to click on the search box type virus. From the suggestion, choose virus and threat protection. Now here you have to click on manage setting under virus and threat protection settings. Disable the real time protection and then disable cloud delivered protection. After this, you can close it and check back that if you are now able to uninstall or install the application or update. All right, so after that, you can open the command prompt again and see that if the verification, the scan has been completed or not. So we will just wait here until the command has been completed. So the scan has now been completed and it says Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation. So that is on my end. Probably you get some different message that says there was some integrity violation and it has been automatically fixed. So whatever the message is, you can now close it. Next, you can also try restarting the Windows Explorer. So what you have to do, right click on the Windows icon, then click on Task Manager. Now here you have to look for Windows Explorer. Okay, so just keep scrolling down until you find Windows Explorer. In case if you do not find, then you have to open the File Explorer or C Drive that is of a yellow icon. Then you have to minimize it. And then you would be able to see the Windows Explorer over here. What you have to do now, right click on it and choose restart. Once restarted, again check back if the problem has been fixed and now you are able to uninstall or install the application or updates. Now if nothing work for you, then what next you can do, you can try uninstalling the application manually from their file location. So look for the app that you are trying to uninstall, right click on it, choose open file location and this will take you to the direct path of that application or software once you come here you will be getting all kind of file here so you just need to delete everything from here okay so this is another alternate way to delete the application or software from your pc or laptop you can check this option as well in case if you don't want to go with this option or, or it's not working for you next what you can try you can use the third party application that is revo uninstaller to uninstall such kind of application so you will be getting a link in the description and you will come to this website here you have to click on free download and then on the left hand side you will be getting the freeware option that is absolutely free you have to click on free download and the downloading will be started it's around 6.6 .6 mb so it won't take much time and once downloaded you have to click on open file and then you need to run this application follow the steps once installed you have to open it and now here you will see the list of all the application and software that is installed on your PC and laptop. So whichever application software you want to uninstall, you have to select it. And then from the top menu option, you have to click on uninstall. So you can check this option as well. In case if this also doesn't work for you, I have a couple of more solutions. What you can do next, click on the Windows search box, type CMD, command prompt will be up, right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be coming up here you have to type set space temp plus sign 
percent sign tmp percent sign again now this you will be getting in the description so you can simply copy and paste once done hit enter and then you can close it again click on the search box type cmd right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator then click on yes now here we are trying to re-register reset windows installation service so what you have to do you will be getting some command in the description so you need to copy them one by one so just copy the first one come to the command prompt right click paste it and hit enter now copy the second one come back to cmd right click paste it hit enter now copy the third one paste here hit enter and now finally copy the fourth one paste here hit enter now after this you have to restart your pc and laptop and then check back i'm very sure that this is fixing your problem so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely fix the problem and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video Bye bye